I've known him over the past nearly 40 years. He's always full of energy, positive and enthusiastic. He also has a great interest in people, whether they're patients, colleagues or friends. I, I think I've always been impressed not only by, by his intellectual ability, but also by the breadth and range of his interests. Um, he has a very wide view of, of psychiatry and I think that's been very, very impressive. He's very curious and never really rests in his quest to improve services for uh, patients with mental health problems. He started off doing electrophysiology and then he moved on to um, teaching and research within Queen's University and he's also been involved in human rights, uh, involved in, you know, in developing the Diploma in Mental Health, which is one of the uh, key diplomas for postgraduate teaching. He always struck me as being very ambitious about the impact of his work, all of his work, you know, not just being a good doctor, but being a contributing member of the society, of the college, and to Northern Irish society as a whole. I worked very, very hard, and I learned a lot about you know, what one could achieve if one applied oneself from him. He was a great example to me in that respect. And I remember a meeting where there was, all the professional groups were present and everybody was sort of jockeying for positions of power in this discussion. And when I intervened at one point and said, can I just ask a question? Where is the patient's need sitting in this conversation, in this dialogue? And everybody had to pause because quite frankly, no one was really focusing on the patient's needs. Uh, but that's, that was Roy, you know? He compelled us to step back uh, from our own insular protectionist thinking uh, to reconsider, you know, how would this all add to the quality of patient care? At a macro level, he will be remembered for the, the tremendous contribution he has made to reforming mental health care in Northern Ireland. He's not really retired, you know. Uh, in recent years, he's been extremely active advising the department on reforming mental health legislation. But perhaps the greatest contribution he made was uh, when he led the Bamford Review, co-chaired the Bamford Review in Northern Ireland, which led to a radical overhaul of mental health policy, societal understanding of mental health and how services were delivered. He has also been leading in, in the new Mental Capacity Act, which is a fusion legislation in Northern Ireland and has never been um, developed in other countries to this date and this has now got Crown approval and is going to be gradually introduced into practice. He has made big impact in psychiatry in Northern Ireland and indeed right across the UK, um, but he has also been a, a standard bearer for psychiatry in that he has collaborated with a number of other disciplines um, and that only strengthens the importance of psychiatry, I think. So recognising the importance of general practice, recognising the, the impact of psychiatry will have right across the board. Over the years of his practice, he has dissipated intellectual rigour. He has been involved in a very wide range of psychiatric services um, and of research, and he has involved users and carers. In particular, I think his emphasis on the rights of patients with mental health and learning disabilities and the importance of non-discrimination is groundbreaking in how he has approached this work. He'll definitely be most remembered for his warmth and for his remarkable kindness. An awful lot of, I think, of what he's contributed to psychiatry and to society, most of us in general won't even hear of because he's not, never been one to put himself forward in that way, but everyone will remember him for his kindness. And I think he exemplifies the great aspiration that the public still have for doctors, that they are better than the rest of us and they do provide leadership for us all. Roy has proven to be a great role model and he is very much driven by wanting to achieve the best standards and the highest standards for patient care. So it's only right that he should get the Lifetime Achievement Award by his home Royal College, Royal College of Psychiatrists. Thank you.